Welcome to this video. I want to talk today about probably my favorite aspect of Figma, the prototyping. And specifically, I want to talk about a function of the prototyping that I don't really see many people in the UX design groups I'm in really talking about. Mainly I see product design touching apps and websites in conversation. And even in boot camps and courses, the projects are mainly focused around apps and websites. But there's other aspects of product design out there. And probably my favorite one that I have found is product design for video games, which honestly, I didn't know that's something you can do in Figma. Even the course that I took, it only did apps and websites. But I mean, it makes sense. Somebody on a game design team has to design the user experience aspect of a video game. Like, I would argue without user experience, you don't really have a video game. Some odd months ago, Figma had one of their online webinars with a designer who was showcasing their plugin for video game prototyping. And it was really interesting. It blew my mind and I was like, what, you can do this in Figma? If you didn't see that talk, I'll put it down in the description because again, like it was really, really good. But the kind of person that I am, I don't really like jumping to use tools that simplify a workflow before I actually understand the workflow that I want to simplify, if that makes sense. So I messed around with the gamepad prototyping feature in Figma and I think it's really cool. And because I think it's so cool, I just wanna give a little demo on how it works because like again, I don't really see this aspect of Figma being used that much in the videos and the communities that I have joined. And I think it's very powerful and cool. So for this to work, other than Figma, you need a game controller. I have this extra blue PS4 controller laying around, but it seems like any controller that can hook up to your computer is gonna work. And you wanna make sure in your settings that you are paired. I'm not really sure how it works on a Mac. I don't use a Mac, so good luck. And look, this looks like it's really complicated since I'm holding a controller now and not a mouse, but I promise this is like really, really simple. But this is so simple, I feel like you can go down a rabbit hole of how complex you can make this. I have this demo file set up and this is just basic left and right scrolling. You would see this in honestly any menu aspect of a video game or even level select sometimes. But how this works is you need to be in prototype and you do the little noodle like you normally would. And then instead of on tap, you do key and gamepad. And then you click. And then this is really important. You have to think about the motion that you wanna do. So I want this to go right. So I click right. <laughs> I'm clicking right. <laughs> and then you can choose like if you wanna do smart animate or any of that. I'll just set it to smart anime because that's kind of cool. And then to go back, you do the same thing on tap, key and gamepad, click, and then I'm thinking about the motion I want to do. So I want to go left. And this one, key and gamepad. On click, on the right. This one would be the back, key and gamepad. So I want to go left. This one, like, you get the idea. It's a little repetitive, but I think the prototyping can kind of get repetitive depending on, like, what you're trying to do. So if I did it right, <laughs> It should all be how I want it. So we're gonna go into Figma's fancy, fanciness. And now, hopefully I did this right. Here. So you see, 
Isn't that cool? And what's really cool about this is you can map any of the keys on your controller to do motion. So like if you want like to go within a menu, you can hit X. If you want to go back, you can hit circle. And I think this is really cool. I grew up as a gamer, so like the gamer side of me is just like tingling with excitement about this. But thinking about products also that people use, you don't just watch streaming services, for instance, on your smartphone or on a website. Like personally, we watch all of our streaming services on the TV through a PS4. So it's really interesting, I think, to start to branch out and think about other user experiences and non-traditional means that people are using services. Switching over to this file now for a little bit more craziness. Literally after I watched the webinar that Figma had on the prototype plugin and doing all this, I recreated the Disney Plus screen using the prototyping feature of the gamepad because why not? <laughs> you know, I wanted to rewatch the video that they put up and they didn't have it up, so I found other videos and I decided that I wanted to try it, you know? So I'm a little crazy, but same thing, like, you can go back and forth. And then this one, hitting X, can go in. I have the top banner. And it's a little glitchy, you know? Like, it's not perfect, but I have this thing. I can go down, I can go down, go over. I can go into this, go back over go into this again. It made me feel really good to learn this. And even I posted this on Twitter when it was Twitter, RIP Twitter. And people responded to this and they thought it was really cool and they were giving me advice. I felt really good learning this. I think this is a skill that is really gonna help me in my transition into product design. And hopefully this taught you another cool aspect of prototyping. Again, I really like the motion aspect to product design and hopefully like you want to go level up some of your prototyping skills and try with the gamepad and think about how people use video game controllers and stuff to also watch TV, I guess. I'm trying to transition my career into product design in the digital space, so learning new skills is really helping me. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. That would be really cool. Uh, especially seeing my journey trying to transition my career into product design and all the cool design things I'm learning. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's really cool. And if you have anything to say, call it out in the comments. I grew up a video gamer, so if there's video games that you like, let me know down in the comments too. I'd love to talk about video games with people. I'd also love to be able to go back to playing video games the way I used to, but I have a toddler and I have a full-time job and they get in my way. Okay, thank you, bye.